Good evening everybody and welcome back to another evening of streaming and tonight it's a little bit different we are going to be playing about with A in a different seat and uh, B we're going to be playing around with the ZX Spectrum which is my well yeah it is my first ever computer I ever had and I'm really looking forward to just playing some games on it um, now what we're using is a ZX Spectrum NGO uh, is the name of it, it's N-GO if you want to look it up. You can buy them online, they're a couple of hundred pounds, but they are a fully hardware emulated ZX Spectrum. So as much as it's not the original hardware, so it's not a Z80 in it, it's just the emulated hardware, it's got the ability to have HDMI out, it's got a huge amount of RAM, and as you'll see here, oh no, that's the wrong one, we want 28 megahertz. Uh, if we come down, and I'll just look at the keyboard here to do this, and go to browser, we can see that it's got quite a lot to it. including every single game that's been made for the ZX Spectrum. So we are going to have a lot of fun with this, I think. Let's just take that off the screen so we've got everything there. And we will have a go at playing. Let's do Daily Thompsons first. Now the problem is this can take a little while to load, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, that is because there are a lot of games on here as you can see and lots of the same copies of games but uh daily thompson is one that i know is there and i'm pretty sure it's the tzx we can play so let's do that there we go that's better oh no it's tzx that we can't use okay are you going to let me? No, I'm going to try and do this and we'll just let it crash out and we'll do it again. There we go. Any other key to exit? Yes, I know it's crashed. Uh, luckily it comes straight back here so we can go into the tap version and we will play the tap version of the game instead. Right, we are going to go for 120... Uh, mm, what do we do? Let's do 48K mode, and we're not going to emulate it loading because, good God, that would be painful. So let's uh, go straight into Daily Thompson then. He says, looking at the screen and nothing loading. Ah, oh, come on. This is a great start. Absolutely brilliant start, isn't it? All right, let's reset that and let's try another file instead. We will get a working file on this. No, right, we'll try this top one. Uh, that'll do, that'll do. Press enter. There we go, look at that stunning graphics there. And there's our little Daily Thompson running across. And of course, in the wrong color because the Specky did him in white. Uh, right, keyboard. Yes, we'll redefine. Those of you that had a spec, you will know exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to do O, P, and should I keep it a space? Uh, yes, I'm going to keep it a space for a, a very good reason, which you will see later. Right, let's uh, pop that in. Oh, just that music straight away. Just such a such a glorious thing, uh, right? You may have seen on TikTok. There's been loads of trends of these puzzle games where people are expected to um, have to cut bread over a hundred times. Oh, there we go, over a hundred times, or they've got to tap the screen a certain number of times, and it's always some dick going, "Oh, you'll never beat fifty," and then promptly scoring under fifty. This game trained us for those. So these two little fingers doing the pumping on the rubber keyboard. Oh, it's, you know what, I'm cheating. I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna use two hands here, but wow, and this is why you set space. Oh, <laughs> well done me. Oh, you, you, you missed out, Assignable Jet. What, um, what did you have? I mean, we had a specy quite late. There we go, that's better. I've actually got a jump this time, although I'm not sure that's going to be six and a half metres. 
Yeah, we had a Speccy quite late in its life. Uh, late 80s is when we got ours. Um, just as all my friends were getting things like uh, Master Systems, Amigas. Um, so I felt very left out. But then again, I'll tell you what, we played our Speccy to death. And it was still one of my favourite memories playing this. Oh, look at that. That is massive. That is world record if I've ever seen it. Look at that. Seven and a half metres. I'm happy with that. But this game is so quick, so bear I would bore us and show us how long these games take to load, but um, I don't think I want to put you through that. Instead, we'll just keep playing. But I think there's only like two or three, boom, yep, I'm happy with that as well. There's only like two or three more games and then um, it's done. Oh, I've definitely qualified. Look how easy that was, 23.72. An Amiga 500. I was always envious. My best friend Michael Gow had a. Uh, hello, Matt. Uh, my mate had an Amiga, and yeah, Michael had one, and I was so jealous of the games. He had a. Uh, Bart versus the Space Mutants on it. Um, he had Street Fighter 2 on it. Oh, so envious because obviously I'd, I'd come home and this is what I'd be playing on instead, and. Let's face it, it's night and day, the quality difference in, in the graphics, but well, as I said, it's what I grew up with. I'm not gonna complain about it because I've got some very fond memories. This I can never do. So this is just gonna be an absolute failure now, the high jump. So are we ready? Steady, go. And this is why I use space, by the way, on this setup, because it's right below the two keys that I'm pumping incredibly hard, even though I didn't need to, jump. Jump, jump. Yeah, I've never worked this one out. Never. So I'll be lucky if we get any sort of jump on this. I don't need to actually pump it, it's doing it on its own. So we're purely concentrating on the angle for this. Um, jump, jump, jump. What, what? He's done it! He's done it for the first time in his life. He has done it. Now I've got to do it at least twice more to qualify. Will it happen? Who knows? Uh, let me know if the volume's okay, by the way, guys. Um, oh no, that's 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 definitely a failure. Oh, damn it. All right, let's try that again. At least I think I've got the hang of this now. I think I've finally worked out what I'm meant to be doing after nearly 30 odd years. No, way too early, way too early again. Ugh. I have still not managed to complete the high jump. Oh no. So this is the end of day one, by the way. So this is the game already done. So you think how many minutes it takes to load a game like this? It took a long time to load. You would then have maybe five, not even 10 minutes worth of gameplay. And then you'd have to turn the cassette over to load day two. This one's painful because it is you'll see the speed bar. I'm having to pump that as quickly as I can. You're meant to just do it with two fingers and you can see, I could, I could just about do it. That's the, our entire generation here has got finger strength because of this game and this game alone. Um, I could be very rude about that. Definitely qualified, eight seconds ahead. And then I think we should get Chariots of Fire. There we go. So I came first. The spec, you couldn't do animation at the same time as playing music, so we get the music instead. And yeah. Da 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 da. It really is bad. I mean, I love it. I have a big, 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 big soft spot for Daily Thompson Decathlon, but that is the game. So yeah, now it loops round. We're not gonna do that. What we'll do, let's very quickly jump back into this and we will come down until we get to day two and we need day two on a tap ideally, but that's not that, so we'll do the Z80 should do. Let's see what happens. Oh, we're straight in, brilliant. Right, let's redefine the keys yet again. O, P, and space. 
Uh, okay, fun thing on this. I'm pressing right and I move left and I'm pressing left and I'm going right. It was always like this. It always confused the hell out of me. When you're down at the bottom, it's going the right direction. Just one of those things. Okay, here we go. So this is day two, same number of events, but they are different events this time. Oh, and we've also got full start. So if you start trying to move the keys or waggle the joystick, if you were lucky enough to have a joystick, um, if you did it too early, it would be a problem. Now I'm gonna try and do this. Oh, fucking hell. It's quite hard to get the time uh, oh, okay, that was <laughs> my my poor Daily Thompson here. His legs must be agony. Oh, there we go, final sprint, final sprint. I didn't qualify. Oh no! Oh, I can't believe I didn't qualify. Oh God! <laughs> Sorry, that's a real letdown. Oh, this is another one that does the auto speed for you. So you've just got to do a couple of left rights and then off you go. Oh. <laughs> and you have to hold down the fire button. Okay, here we go. Let's try that one again. I used to be able to do this one, so I don't think this is going to be too much of a problem. Button down. Oh, I'll let go again. I said I think I'm going to do this one. I might be completely wrong. I'm just realising I'm looking at the screen up here when I should be looking. Oh, what a failure! What's quite nice is I'm watching the stream actually, and the stream is so it's live pass through, I guess. So actually, it seems to be working perfectly. No, <laughs> day two, Daily Thompson is letting down the side here, and by Daily Thompson, I totally mean me. Oh, flip sake, Tom, come on. I can't foul every single one of these. This is, this is embarrassing. That's better. That should be at least 50 meters. Oh, by the skin, but I qualified. I don't feel so bad now. We'll change game in a minute. We'll go for a less sporty game next. We'll, uh, show you the what I call the precursor to uh, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, another. Oh, that's a good one. That should absolutely. Now, what I used to love on this is watch. It comes up through the screen, up through the scoreboard at this point, sticks to the top of the screen, and then comes back down. Um, I love how they did that. There was no need for them to do that. It could have just stopped at the, the, the crowd, but instead they did that. And I, it's just a wonderful thing. Matt, what did you grow up with computer-wise? We've, we've got Jack started with an Amiga 500. Now you're younger than me, so what did you grow up? Oh, balls. What did you grow up with? That's not even going to qualify, is it? No. That's fine. It didn't need to qualify. Well, it did, but... Oh, my... Oh! Flipping button doesn't work. I'm going to have to not use space for any of these games next. Oh. So this is the last event, by the way. So as you can see, we've already only been playing under five minutes and we're at the last event and this one is pure pain so what you can see here is i can set the speed i can go higher i can go lower and i've got an energy bar and what you've got to do is you've got to try and set it to the right speed so your runner doesn't run out of energy by the end of it but also so you manage to complete the race before the 310 seconds is up. So you can see there I'm only 250 meters in, my energy is going up, so I'm gonna go up a little extra nugget on the, the speed and see if I keep running. And my energy is still going up, that's good. Because what will happen, if I go too fast and I burn all that energy off, 
I then have to pump the keyboard as hard as I can and I'm telling you this now for the 1500 when you've got to do that for over a thousand meters because you fucked up right and royally it is horrible it is just sheer burning pain in your fingers uh, now I've done 500 in 120 now, there's no chance that I'm gonna make that so I'm gonna have to go a little bit faster which means my energy is going to burn off but I do need to speed it up a little bit and that's definitely going a little bit faster than seconds isn't it 59 60 61 62 63 so I think the time is a little bit off but I think we should be good here as long as we get to a thousand oh look yeah the energy's slowing down a little bit oh I'm not keen on this 110 alleged seconds and I've still got quite a way to go hmm not sure why I set up this little TV down here when it's actually okay on the screen isn't it I think it's actually yeah it is live it is a, it is going at full speed but you're going to see what I mean in a moment so we've got a little time left and oh my speed dropped because I got down to red on the energy so now I need to pump as hard as on oh I forgot that happens oh I forgot if it gets to red you're screwed that's that's totally on me that time oh that was a failure right let's move on because we don't want another sports game so let's come to browser if anyone does know how to use an ngo by the way this is just zx spectrum uh zx os next um which is the operating system if anyone knows how to move back a directory <laughs> thanks jack if anyone knows how to go back a directory without having to scroll all the way up to the top and do the double dots i'd be really appreciative because uh it is very slow sometimes especially when you've got the number of games i've got on here but i think in the future when i stream this i will do my best just to do a sd card that's got a maybe the games i'm planning on playing uh rob is planning on joining us tonight by the way um and i've just realized i haven't got my um headphones again so i'm not gonna be able to hear him to start with so i'll have to sort that one out if you spot any games you want me to try just shout out and I will uh, try them as well. Do, do, do. As you can see, the search doesn't really work. You've got to have the exact name of the file, um, which I don't. Oh, The Peep Show, an adult game. Will this get us banned from Twitch because it's pornographic? Let's find out. I mean, the worst case scenario is that uh, <laughs> I turn it off straight away. All right, let's come up to the tap version. There we go. Let's let that load up. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh my word. And it's broken. <laughs> um, oh dear. Uh, right, hang on a moment. Let's. Uh... Can I rerun that? Oh no, it it really has just gone. Brilliant stuff there. Great game that one. Um, I was not expecting to look at. Let's try the Z80. Go on. <laughs> I just want to see what it is. Is it actually a, there, a beautiful girl wants to play with you? Peep show. Oh! Oh, it is loading. <laughs> do, do, do. I have no idea what we're going to do here, so let's press one. Oh. I don't know what I'm meant to do. Um, I don't speak German, that's not good. Um, Ton is magenta, fine. Uh, four. 
Oh, so I'm choosing colours now. So that's gold. Okay. Um, no, we want. Oh. How do you just play? It's... Oh! Okay, I think I got something. Oh! <laughs> um, okay, let's go... Oh. P? Okay, no, that's... Well, this is... Oh, this, this is crap, isn't it? No, I don't care what that game is meant to be. We're not going to carry on with it. Uh, right, let's get back to finding the precursors of Grand Theft Auto, shall we? Uh, which, you'll understand, it's, it isn't by any any way a precursor to Grand Theft Auto. Um, I just like saying it is because it's a looking down driving game. Um, and not a very good one at the uh, at the same time. Oh, someone's just asking for the Twitch link. Let's um, Let's put that in the chat would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Sorry guys, give me two seconds. Uh, close. Copy. There we go, sorted. All right. Let's try that one again. Oh my God, we're only at pH. I must, I will update the software on this because apparently there is a new version of the operating system uh, that might make it a little bit easier to find things. Uh, otherwise, what I'll be doing is just turning it off and turning it back on again at this rate. Um, Pit Fighter, terrible, terrible fighting game. Didn't know it made it onto the Specky, interestingly. Platoon, we're getting there. We're, we're getting very close. Does anyone know, though, what I'm actually heading for? Well, two seconds. I just want to see what this is. 1983 Pod. I doubt it's the same game. It's definitely not the same game. Um, oh my god, look at those controls. Y and B up and down. G and H left and oh sweet no I'm not even looking <laughs> that's just way above what I need to learn right now I'm just going to play games that I actually know tonight unless as I say you spot something then I will happily play it um, but right now I'm just going to play some fond favourites of mine and this this shouldn't be a favourite as it's a terrible terrible game um Pole position, good game. Come on, nearly there now. Not Popeye, again, not a very good day. Ah, right, here we go. Postman Pat the Computer Game. Uh, and we'll go for that Z81 because I know it works. And let's get underway with Postman Pat. And that music is just amazing, don't you think? Although I'm not seeing if there's actually any audio coming out of the Elgato at the moment. So is anyone actually hearing any of the sound? Uh, Matt, Jack in the chat would be helpful. Just waiting to see if anyone's there. Hello. Do 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 do. 
I mean, it's not the world's uh, sounds fun. So you can actually hear Postman Pat playing, can you? It's not the world's worst rendition. Let's put it that way. Uh, right, redefine keys as always. Q A O P and M for fire. We're going to use keyboard and. This is what's ridiculous, that if you do three, you can have either easy or difficult. Easy is just ridiculous. You can't crash, you can't die, nothing destroys you. So the game is just impossible to lose. So we're gonna keep it on difficult. And welcome to Grand Theft Auto. And off we go. You've got one hour to do the deliveries. It's such an easy game, but you know what? I was blown away by this when I first ever played it and uh, the old muscle memory sticks with you as well so look here's the doctors then up here is the first kind of main street that you need because you carry on along here past the water that can potentially kill you by causing you to slide over and then if we come up here and turn right we are at Mrs Goggin and out gets Pat, and the first thing she's going to do, Hello Pat, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, it must be when I come back the second time. Right, parcel to George Lancaster. Okay, it's not normally George that you get first. Normally you get um the silly bitch that lives around the corner, but okay. Now I've got to remember which is Ted Lancaster. So I think in the original game... You might have got a map on the cassette inlay um, because you've got Ted Glenn, you've got George Lancaster, you've got the Doctors, you've got, oh, I can't think of what the woman's name is, um, the woman to deliver to, and then you've got a handful of houses that you have to send post to. That's all you've got in this game. It really isn't that in depth. So yeah, oh, that's not what I wanted. And I've crashed. You, oh, damn it. Okay. No, it's not Granny Dryden. Um, you'll see it in a minute. We'll get the name in a minute. But how annoying is that? So you've just driven all that way to that location, and it was a dead end. All for nothing. Now I can't, as I say, I honestly can't remember if this is Ted Glenn or um, Lancaster we're heading to, so we'll find out in a moment. But the one I'm talking about is a pain in the bum because she's permanently riding her bike in the game. And look, the church, you could have, we could have delivered to the church, but no, they never included it in the game. Here we go, what's up here? George Lancaster, there we go, perfect. Um, can I deliver? Are you really going to make me come down here? Oh, well, I'm going to crash, aren't I? Uh, hello, Mark. Right, thank you, Pat. Return to the post office. Well, thanks for telling me how to do my job. And look how well camouflaged he is there. Oh, I can't leave. Hang on. I can't leave. Oh, there you go. I left. But now, you have to get used to driving in reverse until you get up to this point where you can just about do a turnaround. I can see why they gave the kids the easy mode. But yeah, look, we... Um, no, that's not the way I wanted to come. No. Oi, 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 oi. That was a little bit close. Down we come. So it's a bit of a slow game. It is a bit of a slow game, but it's a not bad for the era. Uh, it might be Hubbard, actually, the woman I'm thinking of. Mrs. Hubbard on this. Those of you with Postman Pat knowledge aren't in the chat. I think it might be Mrs. Hubbard, and she's riding around the bike in the game, and on difficult, you can't run her over. No, 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 her bike goes over the top of your van, and it kills you. We'll try and find her in a little bit, and we'll, I'll show you what I mean. No, I don't want a cup of tea, but I'm being force-fed tea by 
what looks like an alien behind a counter. Who, right, deliver three letters, fine. This is pretty easy. Um, so in this game, all you've got to do is deliver letters. You've got to occasionally take things to the three or four characters there are. Oh, there's, he just press fire and he throws it out the window. Um, <laughs> if you're someone, the best thing to do is look up the police did a, oh boom, look at that, go for it Pat. Yeah, there was a, a brilliant whole thing about consent and if they choose not to have their cup of tea after asking for it, do not make them a cup of tea. Oh, thanks Pat. Why did you do that? Right, get back in the van. No, why are you doing that Pat? I'm going to have to turn around and I bet you he throws it out the other side. In fact, look, this is where I was talking about Miss Hubbard. I was right, so it is Miss Hubbard, and normally that's the first delivery followed by the doctors, so obviously this image is a little different. Right, off to good old Mrs. Goggins again, who's gonna force feed me tea, whether I want it or not, because this isn't a consent situation. There she, uh, you just saw her, she was disappearing off the screen there, and she's just disappeared. That is Mrs. Hubbard on her death machine bike. Ready, ready, ready? Cup of tea, Pat! I am gonna, I'm surprised they didn't make pissing a part of this game. Right, please take this parcel to Ted Glenn. And I've crashed because I was looking at the chat. Sorry, um, I missed my old Amiga side keyboard floppy sort, which always got set floppy. Yeah, I was saying to Jack earlier, Mark, um, I was very envious of anyone that had an Amiga. Um, and my best friend throughout primary school had one, and just the feel of that spring that it had when you pushed the disc and the the force you felt against your fingers as you loaded a disc into it, that satisfying clunk. It was never quite the same as what you got with a PC. The, the Amiga one definitely had its own feeling. Oh, wasn't paying attention there. I really should probably watch the right screen. Um, so I'm looking up at the screen right in front of me and yeah, it's not the right one. I don't think there's any lag to it, which is good. There's no lag in the domain. Oh, you know what? I've absolutely fucked that right up. 500 plus. I, really, I would have thought the plus was the, uh, the better model, but perhaps not. Uh, I mean, at the same time as us having a Speccy, my cousins had a, a ZX Spectrum. Oh, come on. <laughs> what does it expect you to do? Well done, enter your name. Okay. Yay, oh, it didn't show me the scoreboard. Yeah, I would have thought the 500 plus would play, play more games than that, but uh, obviously not. All right, let's jump back into this and let's have a look for another another couple of games that we can play. Um, now this is what I was talking about with it being a bit of a pain in the bum and ha now having to load all of the directory to get back here. So there must be a better way of doing this. Uh, but what we'll do, hopefully it won't break the stream. Oh no, Elgato, no signal. Don't worry, it's gonna turn back on. There we go. And there is a delay, so I should be using the screen in front of me fine. Okay, so now you can see we're back here, so that's good. Um, yeah, so I think the Simpsons game was part of a pack-in, and I'm pretty sure the Amiga did have a pack-in um, Sega game as well at some point. Um, it really depended on which, which, bun pardon me, which bundle you got, I guess. 
Um, but yeah, sorry, I was saying, my cousins had, had a Speccy as well, which is where we used to play Postman Pat. We didn't have it on ours. Um, but then we also used to go over there and play a lot because they used to have a Atari ST after they had their Speccy. So they didn't have the Amiga, they had the ST. And um, we used to play Graham Gooch's Cricket on that, which was a brilliant game. Um, Chuck Rock, I think, or uh, Chucky Rock, or whatever it was called, might have been one of the ones we used to play, or um, Baby Jojo or something like that. I can't remember the names of the games now, but uh, one of the games that we played the most, or I played the most on their um, ST was SimCity. Uh, right, what game was I gonna show you now? Um, Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, Viz will be on here. I'm sure it will be. Um, so you know what? Let's drop back. And I don't think V is going to have many games to it. So hopefully we can load that quite easily. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a game I've never played. UV. I mean, we could play How to Be a Complete Bastard at some point, which is a another kind of classic game that we never had. We'd never heard about it until um, a little bit history. So in St Albans, we've got the town hall. And in the town hall, every month used to be a computer uh, market. And they just had trays and trays of floppy disks, some second-hand computers for sale, some more modern CD games, and lots of accessories. Really scraping under the barrel being a market, but there were some good things in there. In fact, I picked up in there my first ever copy of uh, Doom, oh, was it Doom or Doom 2? It was one of the Dooms I got on floppy disk, and I got the shareware version from them, and we installed it on the uh, secondary school network, and. It was brilliant fun. Um, but in there, so this would have been around 95, 96, probably 95, uh, my brother bought himself his first PC. It was a Dell Optiplex system. It had, there we go, Viz the computer game, and there's a tap version, which is perfect. Um, so yeah, he had a, a Dell Optiplex. It had a Rage 128 card in it. And I found in that computer market a CD of ZX Spectrum games and emulators. And I mean, it won't be as many games as I've got on this because there's been more since, but um, it was huge. And we went through all these games and we found how to be a complete bastard. And it was, oh, it blew us away. Nice bit of music there. Virgin Games. So it's Virgin Games that also published how to be a complete bastard. Uh, right. Let's just check this, so right, keyboard control, oh, and we can, perfect, I don't need to go online and try and find the controls, Q, A, O, P, and Amplifier, yes, I'm happy with those keys, let us start, so did you, Jack, did you have this on um, Amiga? Choose your player, uh, it's got to be, doesn't it? What am what I got to do? Oh, it's like Daily Thompson. I've got to pump the keys to drink. Oh, I've got three tokens. Okay. <laughs> Great top tip there. Roger Melly. Oh, well, you need to tell me what I'm going to be doing, Jax. Hopefully, if you remember, that is. <laughs> yes! Oh, I love it. God, this is this is ridiculously hard. I'm trying to try to pump the keys as best as I can. 
and oh this is properly hard can I punch people apparently not okay Okay, uh, this is, I am constantly at the back and I can't seem to be going any faster. Oh, I've fallen over. Oh, I see. I wasn't even meant to be doing anything. I'm, I'm pumping the keys here. And... Oh! Oh, right. I get you now. <laughs> oh, wow. How, I never expected to see a Specky game. That would oh right I get you now you I was pumping the keys thinking it was like Daily Thompson's and I can just move forward at speed oh right okay I understand now let's do that again I'm gonna go with Biffer again. Okay, here we go. That's better. Six tokens. Uh, we've got that same top tip again. Let's hope we don't end up getting banned for that one. Oh, Christ, it started. So, okay, so if I push P, I move out ahead. If I push O, it goes backwards. Right, this makes way more sense now I know what I'm doing. Way more sense. <laughs> bugger, bugger, wank ass fuck. I remember, the, um, as Roger Melly, other than the Profanosaurus, had the, he had an animated TV show as well, didn't he? Oh, we're going to be joined by Rob in a moment as well, which is nice. And hopefully I'm going to share the um, video with him rather than the webcam, so... Hopefully that might uh, be a little bit more interesting for him this time. Because normally he just gets stuck with my ugly mug, which isn't very fair on him. Oi! Excuse me? Oh, I'm not having that. It was Peter Cook. Yes, you're, way, you're right. Oh, that's unfair. So you knock into them they push you off oh f this is a tough game how far did you ever get on it Jack? I mean it feels like it shouldn't be a tough game but um I'm going to say right now, I'm, I'm struggling with it. Right. Oh, Akak -ak bombs away to you two. I also don't know how far we're going to have to race for. But I also know that if I die... That is game over. Oh god, right. No. No, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, auto mod. Held a hang on. 
Hey Rob, how you doing? Uh, do I give that one more try, yes or no, or should we go back to a different game? Hang on Rob, I will, I can see you here, show you on stream, hello! Alright. Ah, right, hang on, everyone, give me two seconds and I am going to go and get my headphones because that's exactly the same mistake as we made last time. And he's back in the room. Right, hang on a moment. Let me get the headphones connected. Uh, choose to connect to those. Come on, connect, connect, connect. Okay, Rob, can you hear me? I can hear you, hello. Hello, right, okay, right, you're coming through the wrong bloody thing at the moment, so two seconds. Uh, Soundcore B20, right, try that again please, Rob. Hello, hello. Hooray, right, and can everybody in the chat hear Rob? Say yes. hello, Rob, if you can. Hello, Rob. <laughs> and hopefully, Rob, you can see the game for once. Oh, I'm actually looking at the... Uh, hello, hello. Uh, I can see it says Viz the computer game. Yeah, you're right. Well, let's give this one more try. I doubt we'll get past it. Let's go with... Um, I've done Biffa. Let's do Buster Gonad. <laughs> what on <laughs> earth are you playing? <laughs> it's um hello everyone so this is how you're meant to get uh your tokens but i'm not quite sure oh i only got two tokens not good well nice that's better top tip than the one we had to start with okay right we know that this is a race don't introduce everyone and off we go so i'm the bottom character this time okay is that your swollen testicles yeah, that's Buster Gonad. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Then you're getting chased. Oh, no. oh. oh, right, so Biffa really is a... Oh, bugger, bugger, wank, ass fuck. Nice, thank you, Roger Melly. So you have to let them overtake you, or you're racing them? You're meant to be racing them. Um... Ooh, <laughs> Screw you, over. My, giant, my giant testicles took you out. This is assignable Jack's choice, by the way. Oh, no, he's pushed me off, you wanger. Oh, no, down you go. Well, we're already ahead of the game quite far compared to previous attempts. So what can you actually do here? You just, what, are you pressing a button to sprint? <laughs> I'm riding my testicles. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a bit, so you've missed us playing Daily Thompson and Postman Pat. So Daily Thompson requires you to like pump two keys to make you run faster, and I assume that was the same thing. But in this, you just need to hold right to make yourself go as far over to the right of the screen as you can and as fast as you can. Right. Um, it's it's not a complex game, but it's a it's a tough game. Right, so this is where we just got to, Rob, before you joined. We dropped to the park, and the park keeper will start chasing after me in a moment. And as you can I see... I mean, how do you make oh yourself go... Oh, my God. He was fast. How do you make yourself go faster? You can't. I'm, I'm already going as fast as I can by holding P. 
and you've got if you come off the um, green track the light green track um, then it does slow you down obviously but, oh he's pushed me in the grass uh, Roger Melly's off to the finish line so hopefully that means no and that's me game over isn't it oh no it's given me one last chance but <laughs> that's ridiculous that is <laughs> utterly ridiculous right no Viz you're a very hard game let's go and try something else um, it's just going to be quicker to turn this off and turn it back on so two seconds and then we'll get back to it I know the game we will play actually uh, we will play how to be a complete bastard at some point this evening uh, which is the book by A. Edmondson as in one part of Bossom um, he did a book called how to be a complete bastard and they made it into a game and um, <laughs> What we're going to do is play an artificial intelligence game. Okay. Who would have thought the ZX Spectrum would have one? Uh, I've got to find it, and I have a feeling, yes, it's going to be quite a way away, annoyingly. So, uh, actually, it actually doesn't look like I's got too many games to it, so this shouldn't take too long, everyone. Did this come with all these, or did you just go on to... Archive.org and download yeah. all of them. <laughs> it's got that kind of look about it with all the same names and stuff, like the different. Oh yeah, all the different versions. That some of them are cracked. Uh, if we play Jet Set Willy, for example, the majority of those are cracked, so you don't need to put in the correct color code at the beginning for uh, them to try and stop piracy back in the eighties. Ah, oh, come on. Um, yeah, so in theory, Rob, you shouldn't see my webcam. You should only see the game. I only see the honest. game, yeah. I'm just kind of comparing it because I, I, I literally, I don't think I've ever played the ZX Spectrum. So when I was looking at it through Streamlabs, it was almost looked like it was lagging. So I've got the Twitch stream up at the same time. So when you're next in the game, I just want to see if it, you know, if it's just what Streamlabs is doing or if that's what the game is like. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at Streamlabs versus... I mean, right now it looks fine. On Streamlabs. I think you'll find it's just that's what ZX Spectrum games look like. <laughs> All right. All right, so here it is. The game is called ID. Uh, we'll just load that up. And um, this is... Oh, I like that picture. That's cool. It's fake artificial intelligence. So the idea of the game was you had to try and work out what the AI or who the AI was uh, by asking it questions and not upsetting it. Um, this was meant to be a randomization pattern, apparently. Um, oh, it's meant to do that, it. is it? It is meant to do that. Um, it is just loading a second time. I'm not sure what it's loading this time. Um, there was quite a lot of text. There was quite a big, not database of things it could be, because that would be being way too, uh, way too generous. Just realised I need to put the microphone back on. There we go. That's better. Uh, right. Is that it done? No, it's still loading. The joy of a ZX Spectrum game, having to wait for it to load. While we're waiting for it to load, if you aren't aware we do have a web page you can find us over on channel84.co.uk and um, you can find our podcast stuff there you can find our blog stuff there uh, I'm in the midst of writing a Tomb Raider remastered review on there I'm sure Rob will do a review of the Final Fantasy game when he's actually cool. playing it Helldivers hint hint would be a good yeah, one yeah when I've got to get off of Helldivers yeah um, I'm pretty sure this is loading there we go look Okay, let's take away that banner for the web page. Uh, ID. Smash the screen. I've been here for such a long time. I was here before Regan, before Caesar, Darwin, Apes, Fish and Rainbows. I was here before time. You do not know me yet, but I, it sounds like a Wren song. But I have yeah, been affecting the course of your history since it began. I live in my lives in inanimate objects transmitted as the personality and memories of my previous forms. Now I am in your spectrum. I cannot see, I cannot hear, I cannot taste, I cannot smell, I cannot touch, but I can think, and I can know, and I can communicate with you through your computer. I am a ghost in your machine, and I will walk on your grave. Discover who what? I am, who I was, and who I will be. You can help find out. Yeah, I know, it's really weird. 
Oh, walking your grave it's got sinister suddenly, didn't it? Right. No, I don't want load save days. Yeah, trust. You had to get the trust the, at zero. You had to get the trust up to the top. Um, okay. So. So you're all right, mate. Hi. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was um, okay. Um, do you can't say hi back to it. You like me, and then I've got to see if I can remember where the question mark is. That's easy enough. Honestly, try not. Oh, this is terrible. Um, purple. Sometimes just saying random things. <laughs> um, ask it if it... Oh, hang on. Tell me this. What is the name of the happiest being you know of? The oh, well, it's got to being. be... Rob. Yay. Sitting so you're on, on with us. Well, you say that Rob is the happiest being you know. Is that true? Is that correct? We'll say yes. And normally that... Oh, there you go. It makes me trusted. Is it then going to ask you the same things later? It does ask you things again. To my optimism returns. Yeah, to, to remind you to make sure you're not lighting. Are you okay? I mean, thank God AI has kind of got better than it is. You, you bite, bite my, my spots sp and I'll tickle yours. <laughs> oh. I told you this. This is real. This game is weird. It is really weird what it comes out with. It's basically, it's got um, a list of adjectives and nouns and verbs, and it will mix them up and use them in sentences. Uh, my optimism returns. I am happy. Honestly, I don't understand. Um, what a weird game. Fuck you. Yeah, um, if does it want to hack game of thermonuclear warfare, TJ? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's upset it. So, no swear words. What? Quite I can't frankly, I can't. My pessimism is. Oh. <laughs> um, let's be obnoxious, shall we? Would you like to? Oh, oh, oh no! Where's I backspace? No, back. oh, that's not backspace. That is. Would you like to suck my fat? Ah, oh, it won't let me put any more in. Oh, well, that would do. Suck, suck on my fat. <laughs> yeah, ask it if he wants to play a game. Oh, it's, I'm so curious as we talk. Okay. Um, would you like to... Oh, I forgot how hard it is to type on these keyboards. To A play. Oh, balls, yes. Quality stuff here. Play <laughs> a game. Question mark. Ah, oh. oh, hey, yeah, tell oh. me this. What is the name of the weirdest being you know of? Um, and the thing is, you can just say anything at this point. So you can say absolutely horrible things like cunty muck. Cunt face, and he'll just repeat it back because that's all. All it's doing is learning at this point. It's it's well pretending to um, learn. It's just taking. Also, those weird names, is just spelt wrong. Mm. <laughs> I wonder what Cunty McFace would make of this. <laughs> Not oh. It's he would think it was fishy. <laughs> fishy, okay, and that's uh... yeah. He'd say he'd think this is fishy. He doesn't trust you. Cunty McCumpface doesn't trust you. Fishy. <laughs> Is Cunty McCumpface still alive? Absolutely. 
Is he, or should we say no? Uh, he's alive and well in all of us, TJ. Okay, we'll say yes. Are you just pressing Y? Is that why you don't? Yeah, see it's just Y does that one. Oh, five. Oh, please tell me your name finally. Am I Cunty McCuntface? No, that'll confuse it. That's the idea. That's what I want to do. Um, um, okay, let's say. What's the game called? Call yourself what the, this game is called. Oh, that's just ID. No, I'm going to go with Captain Picard. <laughs> just because I'm a huge geek. You say that you are Captain Picard. Yes, that's correct. Now, weirdly, we played this a lot when we, we found that emulation disc before you joined. Um, and one of the names that the character is, is Hitler. There you go, he doesn't like it. Is a, a hold of the hand worth two in the bank? Captain Picard. Um, yes. What? Yeah, exactly, it's just really random. No, use different words, oh, for God's sake. What colour are your eyes? Oh, balls, I've misspelled that as well. Did you just write shut brown? <laughs> shut brown. Was never my favourite colour. <laughs> <laughs> you meant to say shit brown, didn't you? Yeah. My oh, pleasure saying, returns. You, you, missed us, you missed us playing an adult game, Rob. Oh, Oh yeah? Well, I don't know. Yeah. That one with that guy running around with a massive bollocks looked pretty adult. Oh, no, this had ladies' boobies. Oh, boobies. Oh, booby boobies. Uh, my pleasure returns. That's nice. Um, where? People in the chat, give us questions. To be fair, I'm thinking about already turning this game off because it is pretty shit. This isn't a very good game. No. You know what? I can imagine when you were 12, it was probably a good game. Yeah, it, it depends on how it works as well because I found that previously it can give you far better responses like um, you scratch my back I'll stick a knife in yours was one of our favourites it used to come up with it kind of reminds me of um, like do you remember Seaman on on the... yeah the Dreamcast funny yeah. enough I watched the Angry Video Game Nerd play that the other day oh really um, let's just reset this I kind of I have better be memories quicker. of that than I imagine what the game actually is well, I didn't realise how far it went, so I didn't realise that you got to the point that they evolved and went up on land. Yeah, if you that's how it you for long kind enough. of quote unquote complete it. A, a, a side quest mark and I never got that far. And that there was sex. They have sex? Yeah, they had sex to reproduce. And then hey, they would die from sex. I'm Seaman. It sounded like George Takai. Oh, did I? <laughs> Well, no, but Seaman did it. So, oh, oh Seaman did, yeah. And it was Leonard Nimoy doing the um, voiceover. It's, it's such a long time ago, I don't really remember it, if I'm honest. I bet you it costs a lot of money to get hold of now. Oh, yeah, I'd love to have a copy of it now. Shall I have a look? Yeah, go on, have a look on eBay. What what does it cost to get hold of how to, um, how to be a complete bastard? That's what we're looking for on mine. How much does it cost to get a fully boxed copy with the microphone? With, because okay, if the you don't have the shebang. microphone, it's pointless. But I don't think you could play it with that. Oh, Hero Quest on the Specky. I didn't know that existed. Mm. That must be a fake one. Seaman Sega Dreamcast Japanese with mic adapter. Original box rare, £39. I think that's just the box. Oh, just the box. That's a rip-off. Oh, no, it's got the disc. Oh, okay. 39 quid's not too bad. Yeah. Well, there's another one here for 400. We're nearly there. One here. Hong Kong Fury, you... that's a game we had. DC Seaman Christmas Special Edition, Edition. never unboxed, never opened, 966. <laughs> Hang on a moment. Okay, so there was a big game series called Horace, and he goes skiing, and he had to go, and there's a, mm -hmm. a spoof game here called Horace Goes Peeing, so I'm sorry, I'm going to have to play that before we yeah, do anything I'll else. Yeah, I'll play that one. <laughs> what on earth is Horace Goes Peeing? All right. 
Y for info. Horace has fallen on hard times since the 80s and turned to drink. Today he's had a bit too much and has climbed the local castle walls with his special brew. <laughs> but the park guards are climbing up to get him. Luckily Horace has been caught short, so decides he can kill two birds with one. Oh no. O and P and M to relieve yourself. Perfect. Okay, this is... <laughs> oh, <gross. laughs> oh, I love it. That's just so stupid. It's like upside down space invaders. Yeah, it's been oh bladder eight. <laughs> it's been really badly written. It's really hard to play. So I'm just going to come straight out of that. That's what do they that call those when it's like a, it's a rom a rom hack? Yeah. So someone's well, someone's probably coded it. I mean, all they needed was the original artwork from one of the original games and then they just did what they wanted I and mean, Horace Goes Skiing is a we had it we used to play it a lot but it wasn't a very good game um, ok here we go right H-O-T you how to be a complete bastard perfect So as you can see, like Viz, it was released by Virgin Games. Uh, we'll have keys. The drunk you... meter and the smeller meter. <laughs> yeah, and we are meter and fart on meter. Oh yeah, bastard points. Okay, now I need to work out the controls. Q, O, P, move me left and right. Q and A are up and down. Uh, ah, space is action. So the whole point of this game is to be a bastard. Now, what was right. really clever about this is the bottom screen and the top screen display the same room, just in that different thing. Right, condom. Uh, we'll take the condom. I'm sure we can use that later. And then, yeah, the aim of it is just to be... Uh, looking in my pocket. I don't want to look in my pocket. Search the coat. Nothing in that coat. Uh, all right, nothing in that coat. This game was huge. There is a lot to do in it. And oh, packet of fags. Let's uh, throw it. That will get some bastard points. So, what, what's happening in the top and bottom screen? What's the difference? It's the same room. It's just a different angle, different camera angle. So, um, oh, we'll take the pen for the moment. So, if you look, top screen, I'm walking left and right. Mm hmm bottom screen I'm walking up and down so I'm at the coats at the moment on the bottom screen so it meant I could look at different things so I can walk over to the stairs and then when I press up you'll see my character is now walking right on the top on the bottom screen so it means I could move around and I could go into multiple rooms and it, it, it gave it a far more 3d um, design that it could oh. <laughs> Carol, stab her with, a pen, her yeah. with the pen. <laughs> Definitely the guest do that. screamed in agony. There we go. I'm glad I took the pen now. Oh, and I've, I've lit up points. Oh, I lit up uh, the first. Oh, she's not moving from the door now. Bollocks. So yeah, you, you could do horrible things to people, but the other pro. Oh, right, that's the garden. Oh, can I not get in the kitchen now because of her? Oh, that's going to be a problem. I want to go in the kitchen. Let's see if I can walk past her. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. Carol, you've, you've, you've screwed me up here. Bloody Carol. It's fine because there is another door. So, again, using the, down, the bottom screen, I can see this other door. So, let's come into the TV room and let's go and have a look at the TV. What can I do with it? Search it, nothing here. Oh, right, okay. So, as I said, I've played this a couple of times before uh, when I was much smaller, and there's things that you can find. So, um, I know that later, Sicko's video, there we go. So if I take it, I can probably put it on the TV over here, and that should get me some points as well, because people won't want to watch it. <laughs> So, over, oh dear. 
it's quite a hard game to control I'm not going to lie uh, it looks there you really go. watch awkward. the video you're scared fartless brilliant oh that took away bastard points oh no alright search the fireplace coal uh, eat it that'll do and then if I come and stand next to someone and press F oh I blew myself up oh no Adrian says I'm a complete non-entity right let's try that one again because what we want to do is go in the kitchen and remember I can stab someone so in the fridge you'd always got beer which takes a long time to walk to search it monster get pissed fast lager um, if you drink all of it the game's a nightmare the bottom screen just starts spinning over and over and over again and you can't stop it so um, we won't do that we'll just drink some uh, we'll drink some lager we just won't drink all of it and then if we come over to the oven there's curry which yeah. again you can eat and if you do this in the kitchen you will blow yourself up again but if you fart in the kitchen then you end up blowing up too uh, what because of all the gas uh, it's just because it's it's a stupid funny game apparently oh nothing in the microwave oh so I could put something in the microwave later I guess alright let's go and get that pen and stab someone with the pen again that seemed to do quite well for points I think it was oh. you've got to hold the direction of what you want to search which is a uh, awkward uh, where am I let's do the top screen now if we go into the garden you know um, we were talking about crushes on the podcast the other day oh yeah I've got a new one you've got it's a now new a current, one it's now a a quite a current crush now. Oh, I want to hear. Tell me, tell so, me, tell uh, me. Jolene uh, Blalock, if that's how you say her name. Who? Who plays Tapal? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. She's 49. Well, you say current. So she's not far off. She's 49, so she's not far off. Oh, that's fair enough. I, I like the fact that you've done done a little bit of searching there. Yeah. Uh, so you, safe uh, you safe search is off. Safe search is off. <laughs> I see. You filthy man, you Rob. Yeah, we just watched it and then we come in here. Well, actually, we watched it and then we watched about 20 minutes of the next episode. <laughs> and then Randy was like, I'm going to get to bed. It's like, okay. And then I come on here. I was going to type up my notes into the computer, but I can't be bothered. I've got to say, I've actually got a bit more of a soft spot for. Um. I don't know their names. You're going to say a name. Enterprise. No, 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 no. Just for the series, Enterprise. Um, oh, I don't think yeah. It, I don't think it deserves all the hate that it, it gets. I, I can't say that I hate or like the series because I literally think that might be the first episode I've ever maybe watched. <laughs> I'm sure I, I've probably watched bits of it over the years, but I've never think I've sat there and gone start of an episode to the end of an episode. Ah, there we go. Stab Robert with the pen. Perfect. Oh, I'll just, just stab you, Rob. What? I did just. I just stabbed you with a pen. I'm sorry. No. I'm not sorry in the slightest, but. Um. Yeah, watch a bit more of it. The first season I thought was quite good. Um. I'll throw it. Out I don't want to say too much because we're going to be recording and talking about it tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. We won't say much more then. I'll drill. Uh, take it. What can I do with the drill? Do you think I can kill someone? I know that if I find the chainsaw, I can kill someone. Do nothing to Clive. Oh, Clive, that's your lucky day, mate. Battery charge, a can of oil. So yeah, this is one of these games that, as stupid as it is... Oh, there you go, chainsaw. Oh. What have I got in my pocket? Oh, bollocks. Hang on. Uh, look in your pockets. I need to find somewhere to put the stuff. That's a shame. Hang on. Um, yeah, it's one of these games that 
I don't think knowing the book would help. Yeah. Um, I definitely don't think knowing the book would help. Um, empty pockets into the bin. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Um, but I'm sure every item in the house has a use. So I'm pretty sure I saw in this cupboard here, for example, oh, it wasn't this one, maybe it's this one. Chainsaw. I wonder if we can it. just emulate Seaman and stream us playing Seaman. Uh, we should do at some point. Um, I've got Dreamcast emulation set up on, on the, the laptop. gaming laptop. There we go, right, the shears. If we take the shears, we can come up to one of these ladies here. And it's got to be a lady, I think. It doesn't work on. I can't, I can't even tell which one you are. I know, one. Oh, it won't let me with this. Do I have to be pissed up or something? Basically, you should be able to, when you've got the shears or you've got the uh, chainsaw, you can just commit murder or give them a haircut. Oh, she's disappeared back in here. No, oh, oh, you've been in the kitchen. Yeah, I've already, I'll, we haven't even been upstairs yet. I'll, I'll do a different game in a minute. I just want to try and uh, do something. Ah, let me go and get pissed up on lager. Hang on. Not something you'd think you'd say in a specy game. Right, here we go. Over here, straight to the fridge. Oh, it's the long old walk over to the fridge. Search it. Collision detection. Right, drink all of it. And what you'll now see, oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. You killed yourself doing what? Uh, drinking too much, apparently. Right, let's just turn that off again. Turn it back on. Uh, right, what sort of game do we want now? We've had a sport game. We've had a random game. We've had a couple of random games. We've had Postman Pat, which is, as I joked about, being the precursor to Grand Theft Auto. What should we try now? I don't know. Uh, let's have a look now we could do uh, fighting game uh, I think the original Street Fighter is on here if I can be bothered to find it or we could do a text adventure we could do now I know Mr Biffo did the Hobbit recently with Sanya and um, well it's like a how to choose, like, choose your own adventure no, it, it is based on the book. Hang on, let's um, let's see if we can find it, and then I'll see if um, we can do a fighting game as well. But The Hobbit is one of the first kind of proper text adventures, really. Oh, it's so painful, this. As I say, I'm hoping the next OS update, which I do need to do, I'll just never get around to doing it, will make this easier because the search won't search unless you know the exact name of it. Ah. Oh. Which is a pain in the arse. Henry's cat. Hero quest again. I shouldn't have rebooted really. I was already at the right place. Du, 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 du. Remember as well, ladies and gents, if uh, here we go, the Hobbit. If you are a Kofi supporter, tomorrow evening is our first monthly chat, so you can come and chat to us. We'll watch some YouTube, and we'll just chat, chat random things. There you go. Look at that graphic. Wow, first. that looks so cool. I love it. It's such a nice loading screen for this one. But this, is, this isn't this is what we got originally. Um, in fact, let me show you what we got originally. Because you know, I don't want to play a version 
that isn't the one that I had. So that was a conversion for the world of Spectrum.org, which used to be the best place to get hold of games. Um, so let's just, if we go for this one, we should be good. He says, hopefully. That's better. There we go, The <laughs> Hobbit. It looks like a child's drawn it compared to the other one. <laughs> the other one is a glorious thing. But that would have only ever worked if you had 128k. Uh, if you'd done the upgrade, yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at this, it's so cool. It's such a gorgeous thing, isn't it? Right. A wooden chest. Gandalf is giving a map. Uh, carrying a map. Gandalf gives the curious map. Good. Okay. Open door. There is nothing in the chest. The it wooden just... chest, Gandalf. Gandalf is carrying a curious map. Thorin. Gandalf gives the curious map to you. So that's what you see. So you see it says, you see the wooden chest, Gandalf, and Gandalf's carrying a map, and Thorin. Then it's... Yeah. Right. Here we go. Oh, look at that. such a beautiful way it loads. It's so slow as well. Uh, okay. Northeast and north. Gandalf takes the curious map. I want the map, but I can't take it back from him. Uh, all right, we'll go northeast. Hidden path with troll footprints. Perfect. Oh, it's so painful waiting for it to load. But this is what we this is what I grew up with. And you learn patience when you have a computer like this. Oh yeah. Uh as much as I don't want to do this, you do wait. Uh you do No. Wait. We're waiting for it to say daytime basically. Uh, Hurry up! Sleep? Did you tell Thorin to shut up? Uh, no, it doesn't understand. Annoyingly, oh sklep, no sklep. Ah, this is so horrible because it's randomised on how long it is before it's daytime. Well, will it tell you it's now daytime? It, yeah, it will then say. Um, wait. Um, eat Thorin. <laughs> you cannot eat Thorin. <laughs> no, you don't say. Oh, come on. Basically, you've got to wait because the next part, there are some trolls in a clearing. There you go, look, this is the tree, and there's trolls, basically. A hideous troll, the troll's carrying a key. The vision troll, the troll says, blimey, looks at this, can you cook them? You can try, but it wouldn't make a mouthful. So then what you've got to do, if you're not quick, you end up dying. Uh, so I went southeast. Well, that's Rivendell, quick. Elwyn says, yeah. Say, oh. It's really hard to work out what you're meant to do. Speak. Okay, it's not that. Talk. To, oh, talk to what? Elrond. Elrond says no. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Eat. Lunch. Day dawns. Finally, it's taken that long to get to this. Right, northwest. Oh, okay, west. Now there's two stone trolls. Take key. Um. Oh no. Southwest. No. Northeast. Oh, the tr that's no use. Uh, 
one of these ec paths. Oh, Thorin enters, brilliant. Thanks, Thorin. Thorin so, enters the path. So, yeah, thanks. Oh, actually. <laughs> That's what I was saying, Jack. This is, um. You know, I don't, you can't even remember how you get to the door, but let's just do the thing that we always used to do because in theory I don't think we actually need him although I'm sure in the story you do oh right now let's kill Elrond again you can't do this to Thorin 99% of the times he kills you and Gandalf definitely kills you we're going to kill him and then I'm going to do what I really want to do and then we will Elrond is dead hurrah Thorin waits Thorin, Thorin has just waits. stood there and let you kill him so pick <laughs> up Elrond you carry dead Elrond <laughs> give Elrond Thorin. No. Oh. oh, how do I need to do to give Thorin Elrond instead, do I? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So he will now carry Thorin's dead body for the rest of this game now. Thorin. Thorin is carrying dead Elrond. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, there we go. We're on the nice... I don't know why Biffo and Sanya struggled with this. Um, but I know what they got to and I know the bit they got to and it is a really big pain in the ass. So now we're at Bayon's house and we can look in um we can look in his house and then in a moment we will get a pale blue bulbous eyes and we'll get killed and that's Shelob if you've ever mm -hmm. is Shelob in the films? You she's in the um the the normal three, the third one. She's in um, the Return of the King. Is she in the Hobbit? She is in the Hobbit. She's a, one of the big characters in. There. Well, yeah, she's in the book, right? And I don't know if she's um. In the film. She's in the films. The films are the ones I haven't really. The Hobbit three are the I, I, not as into them as I am the, you know the, the other three are like my favourite films ever, but I just would never got really into the Hobbit for some reason. <laughs> Uh, Matt, you've been playing Rob's favourite game of the moment. He spur spurted Liberty all over those filthy bucks. Good, good man. Well done. And Rob, did you see the clip I sent you on Facebook Messenger? No, I don't have notifications for Facebook because I hate it. Yeah, join Remember the look. club. So, uh... Yeah, I have to wait for people to tell me they've sent me stuff. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I see. Tom sent me a message two hours ago. Mechs are coming. The place is too full for you to enter. Well, that's really useful, isn't it? I want to go there and I can't. What if I go southeast? You're at Forest River. To the southeast, there is a fast river. Thorin enters. Um, I think that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? But have I lost you, Rob? Are you still there? Sorry, no. I was reading um, the, the sorry watching the video you sent me. Sorry. What did you? What are you asking me? Sorry. I was just saying, what do you think of the uh, the look of the mechs? I think they look pretty cool. Yeah, I did see a video as well of an APC with like um, gun turrets on it. Oh, you need it. Though. Uh, I, do, I, my, uh, I guess you'd call him Matt was there as well. I, my, I played with my cousin-in-law yesterday and the day before, and um, we did the old... blow, Thorin cleaves your skull. You are dead. 
we did the automaton planet or medium yesterday last night oh but it's that was so difficult. difficult what a different game it is playing against the automatons compared to the bugs the bugs are like child play compared to the automaton and i'd ne- i'd never done the automatons in a group or on medium and there's a massive like going from i think it might be novice the the lowest one and then easy yeah. then medium it's such a skill level jump each time plus more mobs scary mobs there's basically atsts and mechs with rocket launchers in medium <laughs> and we were just getting annihilated on it we we escaped in the end but uh yeah they will definitely terminate your anus that's right i have just had to permit the word anus into chat <laughs> oh for him yeah he's now going to test it now oh saboteur now that was a good game as well did you decide if you were going to get it tj uh i did but i'm going to wait because at the moment although it's 30 pounds on amazon it's also a one month wait on delivery oh i got it um what's it called um digitally only because i had playstation vouchers yeah you see i've got 50 pounds of vouchers on amazon to spend so i was just going to buy the the actual file but i might just i might just digitally do it then yeah and you can't and you can also you can't spend the, the amazon vouchers on playstation points no which is fair enough it's just money for money for money in the end i'm assuming you're getting it on playstation not that's not steam i'm making an assumption here Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I'll definitely be getting on PlayStation because I just don't use the gaming laptop. It screams because it's so loud on the fans. Oh really? But don't get me wrong. It's a, as I say, it's an RTX 3060 in it. It plays games beautifully, but as soon as you start playing any game, the fan kicks in. Fan goes nuts. Yeah. What the fuck? Why don't you put it in crying? your fridge and run a long HDMI to your monitor? Ooh. I've seen people that have done sleeper builds in mini fridges. I can believe it, yeah. What the hell is sex crime? Yeah, well, let's play this. Okay, well, it's a, a dot tap, so we can. It's it's tagged as adult. Well, there's a Z80 below it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Matt, don't say it like that, because that just is, is foul. I did not service you. Thank you for the service. Yeah, I um, did some cheap show ticket bookings for our little party that's going. Who's our little party? Uh, I've got a ticket. I've got to wait for it to go on general release. I can order you for yours. I thought you were waiting to know if you had um, childcare. Yeah, well, it depends what time it is. <clears throat> what time would you be leaving? Uh, it's pretty much, I think, probably going to be an all-day thing because Karen is going to come and stay in St Albans for the weekend. I'm with pretty sure I have my, Mr. my parents Court, so we can, So we could uh, kind of have a bit of a day trip, morning with Karen, then go down on the train to London for it, and then back by late afternoon. Okay, yes, well, so he far has got you tickets before me, yeah. <laughs> so so far all sex crime is is this so let's reboot this and try the z80 instead um yeah we'll meet you there matt it's the 19th of october right yes 19th all right i'll ask my mum then to have him all right let's try this version shall we didn't realise how what the time bloody was 10 to 11 so you can get as many as you like because you're a oh it's bloody patron. foreign again as well uh, because I'm a patron I get access to the early purchase tickets but what I mean is they don't cap you there is no which probably maybe there should be <laughs> what on is he earth? naked I don't oh right Q and A are left and right. That tempo meter is going down very fast. 
Oh, right. Okay. Oh, there's women on the beds, TJ. No, this is gross. <laughs> what on earth am I meant to do? Uh... They oh. are dicks. Yeah, they are dicks. Oh, have I just died? Yeah, the tempo ran out. I don't know what the buttons are. What language are. is this? Fim do tempo. Let Spanish? me get Google Translate open. Is it in Spanish? Oh, I'm having sex. <laughs> mm, I think it might be sexual assault. <laughs> oh, oh my god, what's going on there? Oh, oh so it's lives, time, and score. Oh card. my god, yeah, I, I, I am. Look, the police officer's coming for me. I don't oh, know. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get off this game for Twitch note, is what you're doing. <laughs> we can <laughs> yeah. lose our Twitch account. <laughs> I don't think pixelated sex is going to be a problem, but I don't know, mate. Know. <laughs> 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 well, that's the, that's the most interesting game so far, isn't it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no. If I just saw what I think I saw, this might be the most interesting. Notice how they're always for yes. Sex Tetris. Sex Tetris. Oh yes. By oh, Simon. I've chosen the Russian one as well. Bollocks. Well, there's only one. Sex on first date. Sex 2015. Poker. Sex machine. I think it's set up there. This is the right section to be on. This is more our game here. <laughs> How long did you have your Twitch account for? Yeah, Two this weeks. Is, <laughs> this is definitely our speed now. Right, hang on a moment. Sexy Spectrum games. Let's actually get it in English so I can understand what. Sex I'm invaders. Doing. There's sex invaders. Oh god, sex pause, sex invaders, sex get sex machine. Yeah, baby, it knows me. <laughs> is this your history? This is your ZX Spectrum history that we're in. Uh, right. Oh, I can define the keys. That's the best. All right. O. P. Uh, Z to drop, X to rotate. I wondered what we were playing to start with. What do I need to rotate? Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Get that one. Get that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got. <laughs> no, you should have okay. read that. Hang on, right, let's try that again. Oh, that's the best one. <laughs> <coughs> no, rotate, rotate! Oh, oh what's it turned God. into? Eggs. Oh, it's... oh this oh. is... What? What are you <laughs> in, is... though? I'm... Oh, there's sex oh, going on God, the screen next to you, again. TJ. There's sex. Is there? Oh, yeah, she's going down on him. Oh wow! She's okay, there, she's humping. <laughs> oh this dear! Is... Oh, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Who would have thought a 1980s computer would be so filthy? <laughs> and filthy enough to have that game in English and Russian? <laughs> That's awful. Right, I'm only in bloody S to get to a Street Fighter for a assignable jack to show you how bad this could be. In fact, to be honest, I, I'm going to say that the Tiger Electronics version of Street Fighter is probably going to be better than this. Oh, I'd love to see Street Fighter on this. Well, we'll get there in a minute. Yeah, Shinobi. <laughs> yeah, Shinobi's on this. One of the later games, with it being 1989. Shithead 2007 Short Circuit. Oh, that would be a good game. So many of these games I obviously never had and I would have loved as a kid. And now I'm not talking about the sex games before anyone says anything. Oh, Silent Service, that was the submarine simulator. 
SimCity. You actually played it, Jack. I didn't know anyone that had it because it was um cassette load and I believe the first cassette load took you to the character selection then you had to load the second cassette to um, then actually do the fight and then you had to load the first cassette tape again it sounded like a real ball ache this is going to be interesting for me because so far my experience of this console is it's very laggy <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, I don't, don't, don't remember what you're seeing work. here is a. Oh, what you mean the games themselves? Yeah, they, they are. You've got to remember this is a little Z80 processor running at 3.5 megahertz. Um, on the 48k, on the 128k, it was a bit faster, but it was still a Z80 processor. Um, my favourite thing though is uh oh we can play Steve Davis snooker later. Um, is that the Z80 processor is still in common use today so there's so many industrial bits of kit and there's probably sound kit Rob that uses yeah. it as a, a CPU for managing things that's why you can still go out and buy a modern Z80 oh come on we're on O's what I'm going to do next time, I'm going to choose a handful of games. I'm going to do a brand new SD card and just have that handful of games on there rather than having to go through like this because this is this is truly painful. Well, update the OS and see if that fixes it. Yeah, hopefully that might fix the search thing. So if that fixes the search thing, then that will make life so much easier. Space Crusade, we could play a bit of a light hero quest, another tabletop game on the specy. Should give Hero Quest a try on this at some point. I'd be intrigued to see how they do it. Um, oh, what was the one I used to like playing? My friend had it on a Amiga. It wasn't Space Crusade. It was Sim Space Hulk. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What I might so do Star Trek games. There's loads of Star Trek games. Fan made, actual games. The actual games, especially the early ones, are pretty bad. And I'll tell you what, just seeing them here, there were so many gambling games released as well. Fake fruit machines and roulette and poker. Samantha Fox's strip poker was one of them. Do you remember those games that were like um, we're talking about porn games now that you you had to kind of like make sections you had to move a thing down and then make from one end of the, the, the you had a rectangle and it was blank and you had to kind of create squares and the squares that you made then re revealed part of the picture. Yes I remember the one yeah. Remember those? I don't remember what, what were they called those things? Yeah, I know which one you mean, yeah, but you had to successfully make it across, didn't you, without being touched by whatever was pinging around inside the rectangle. Yeah, exactly. And if you managed that, then yes, it would complete a rectangle and you'd reveal the picture. You'd reveal the porno. Mm, pixelated 256 colour porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best kind of porn. <laughs> Alright, take care, Matt. BDSM Dungeon on Steam. I'm... Mm. yeah we did exactly the same Jack my friend Peter Kelty had it on his NES on one of those dodgy <laughs> spam multi-card <laughs> well, that, that's what you did but we didn't know what poker was so you just kept on pressing kind of A on his NES controller until it kind of boobs would appear see you later Matt Hitler's BD oh sorry it's Hitler's BDSM dungeon Jesus we're not getting our Twitch banned. Uh, I may have already done that, so <laughs> I've not seen any Google emails come through yet saying that. So we're okay to an to an extent. You know what will happen is when I upload it to a uh, YouTube later, that's when we'll get cancelled. Yeah. Uh, 
I will stream, so Wednesday we are doing the Kofi chat and we are recording the Star Trek episode. Um, unless Rob fancies doing some streaming, Thursday night I will do Minecraft. I'm going to be doing some, we've got, TJ's got to show me how to do the setup, but I wanted to do some Baldur's Gate roulette. That was one of the things I wanted to do where we play Baldur's Gate together basically whoever's in the chat if TJ wants to join them basically the chat decides what happens we all make the characters together every time there's a choice someone in the chat can say what we've got to do you know and just make our way through <laughs> here we go street fighter you said you could do roulette wheels right yeah we in can this... do a roulette wheel in street yeah, so we might do that too um, and then I'll do some hell dives at some point nice nice uh, I will put the, the world ID up. I want to do a bit of a building myself before I let anyone else on there. Oh, of Minecraft, yeah. Yeah, no doubt I will come onto it and then I will find that everything has been robbed or taken. Right, this is quite a big file, I think, so it takes a little while to load. We just make whitelists, don't you, and, and areas and things. You know, people can't yeah, destroy can. stuff put there by an admin or something. <laughs> Due to machine limitations, this might not... Basically, they, they put the Amiga pictures or the arcade pictures on the game box. Oh, uh, that's naughty. It's it's not the too. Street Fighter music. I can't hear it. No, you, yeah, you're not getting music, otherwise you don't get... Um, you don't get my audio, annoyingly. Oh. Um, oh, just me. The stream gets it. Yeah, the stream's getting. Okay, oh, it doesn't matter to me then. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, start game. Oh no, I don't know what the controls are. That's not good. Please don't be these. Okay, they're not those. Oh. Oh, you're Ryu, and you're going to Japan. E Honda stage. Oh no. Yeah, from my perspective, this is unplayable. Well, it's unplayable because I don't know what the... I think... Oh, game's paused, useful. I don't know what button I pressed to pause it, either. Like, E-Honda was jumping and it was like going at, like, 5 FPS. Yeah, don't... You. I think you are forgetting how lacking in power this machine was. No, that's the Whoa. point I'm making. It's like they oh. drive. They tried to put this game on. It would have been even back then. You would have <laughs> I don't been know like... what I've done. You can change the color scheme, which is pointless. Um, yeah, well, it it got slammed. It really yeah. got slammed. But granted, I mean, I didn't know you could change the color scheme, and I I'm still trying to find out how to get back to that'll do. That's the original one, I think. Ah, right. One seemed to block. I mean, it, to its ah. credit, it's Street Fighter. You can quite clearly tell it's Street Fighter. Ah, I've got jump. You know what? For the for oh, I did so I did something. Oh, I did a punch. Right. Okay. You can tell it's you can tell it's Street Fighter. Absolutely. Um, uh, well, Street Fighter 2, I should say. I don't think there's any way to do special moves. If there is, I would be amazed. Oh, that's jump again. That's making my eyes go funny. Yeah, it's, it's not brilliant. And I'm down. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, that's... That's bad. Yeah, it's rubbish. Oh, that's... Let's do, let's see, let's do one more game and that will bring me up to two hours of streaming again. And uh, I think we'll call it quits after that. Uh, you know what? I've got a game to show you. One that might vaguely um, make you think that this isn't all terrible. Uh, and the game's called Glass. Um, 
I don't know if you had that one, Jack, but glass is basically lots of games in one game. Um, let me just try the filter one more time. Oh, um, just in case, G L A S S star dot star. Oh, it does work. Look at that. What does the star dot star mean? Um, so the star, the first star just says anything after the word, include it. So all that brackets and stuff. And then the full stop and dot star is to say all file types. I could have done dot tap or dot z80. Uh, right, so this is Glass. This is a game that me and my brothers played to absolute death. It's lots of miniature games all in one, and the idea is that you're this spaceship and you're on an alien's planet and you've got to blow their planet up because, well, it's, it's, it's hell divers versus the automatons mm -hmm. for the, the 80s, basically. Okay. Uh, here we go, right, let's do keyboard. I don't think I get to select my keys, which is a shame. So let's see if we can work this out. There we go. So I'm moving left and right and I've got to shoot these things that are coming at me and don't let them hit me because otherwise they knock my shield down. Now the thing is, you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it's got time. Yep. That's not how long's left of the game, that is just how long's left of this section before I blast off to somewhere else. So it was quite nice because sometimes, yeah, you got stuck on the level and it was actually really slow, while other times you actually got a really short one. Then there were these funky screens, which I always used to love. They always used to make my eyes go funny, but... <laughs> oh, there we go. And now we've got the driving section. And sometimes there's lightning. I don't know why they did that, but there you go. Um, but is this a little bit smoother for you, Rob? Is this a bit yeah, more this, PS5? This, this is, well, this just makes a bit more sense. Yeah, I mean, the driving bits, this was probably one of my favourite bits, and I think the same company, have I just found a place that's not going to generate anything in front of me? Oh, <laughs> as he says, and a big red thing approaches him. Um, yeah, this as a kid, this was one of my favourite ones, because this is the one I could do and not die so hard. Um, but I'm pretty sure they made a game out of this as well, where you're a motorbike, and it was just purely this section. There was nothing else to the game. It was just driving through this section at varying speeds. There we go, that's that one out of the way. Uh, and yeah, you, I think you had to nuke three bases in the end. Oh. What I never got was these ones, so no matter what, you could see them at a distance, and you waste all this time. You only ever hit them a little bit. And he didn't manage to hit me, but it was a bit of a nuisance, this one, because it's just like, ah, right, I'll just stay here firing now. Boop, boop. Burgers with legs coming at me. What always used to make us laugh as well, depending on how good you were at the game, you got a rating at the end of the game. Yeah. Um, and we always used to get, because we weren't very good at it, Intergalactic Dustman was the uh, the most common one we used to get. Oh, what's this one? Oh. Oh, and it's the automatons finally, Rob. They're here. Yeah, they are. Oh, the fucker shot me. No, stop it. And this one, you, the problem with this one is you could never not get hit. So you always lost shield on this one. Not much, but you did. How would you even avoid it? You can't. I mean, I think you could spin round, but I think basically when people were... When they fired, you, you would lose shield anyway. 
and you can see I've already lost half my shield now and I'm nowhere near the first base I mean you used to have to play for about 15 minutes just to get to the first base and there were three of them that you had to do so it wasn't it wasn't exactly an easy game they must attack in a certain order you just gotta keep playing it till you learn it I guess no it's random so oh. every time you play the game the levels are random so it's not always ah you get three shields so you basically get three lives per game uh, but yeah, no, it, it's totally random. Sometimes you'll get the burger bouncing things at the beginning. Sometimes you get them at the end. Um, I think there is probably a set number before you get to the base, but oh, it might be a score thing, actually. It might be you've got to get a certain score first, and then you can, uh, then you can progress. I'm not sure. Uh, that's going to take out one of my shields. Yeah, it has. <clears throat> hmm. uh, I'll bring the streaming stuff over on Wednesday tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and we can give it a go. So are we doing it here? Set up as. Oh, uh, we can do it unless you want to come here. I don't know if we're doing it um, here, yours, or on whatever the, the riverside. I don't know. No, I must admit I don't really like doing it remote unless we absolutely have to. Right, that's enough. Well, Blast if you don't mind coming light. here then, just because matey boy's constantly coughing at the moment. No, that's absolutely if you fine. Don't mind. I'm more than happy to. Uh, thank you very much for everyone that's joined us tonight. Been a lot of fun as always. You can check us out on channel84.co.uk. We'll try and do some regular streaming. We'll set up a schedule, but at the moment it's just when we fancy it. Um, I'm sure you don't mind, but it is what it is. Uh, find our blog posts. Episodes are out every Monday. Star Trek ones every other Monday. Oh, and that's your lot. And then the next time I stream, it'll either be Tomb Raider or it will be Minecraft. One of the two. Glad you had fun, Jack. Nice chatting as always. And uh, we'll see you over on the Twitterverse and Discord. Take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.